Holy moly, this is a big box. Now I'm very excited and I'm very nervous. It looks like they packed it very well. This may be the oldest Farberware griddle I've ever seen. I've never seen a Farberware box look so old. The design, the pattern. It's got a picture of a cow, some chickens, and fish on it. Where is it joined? Where is it joined? Okay, I found it. I've got to give a shout out to my brother. He helped me get this griddle. Thank you, bro! In all the years I've been collecting Farberware, I've never seen a box like this. That's a cow, right? Chicken? Fish? Farberware. Automatic. SW Farber Inc. This box meets the construction requirements of the MMFC. Ooh, 11.69? There's a date! Oh. Oh. Well, there's not much packing in there, is there? Oh, it's pretty. Wow. I mean, it is just a solid piece of aluminum. This might be exactly like the one I have. Because I have an old one. And I'll just sell mine. Ooh, there's a booklet! Ooh! Oh! Ho, 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 ho. <laughs> now I'm gonna sneeze. I'm gonna sneeze. Does it say Kidda? It does say Kidda. It is a Kidda. Very tiny. Small print. Later on, they put Kidda on the box. Is there a date? Stuffed bacon rolls? Chicken pinwheels? Chili hamburgers? Oh, there's... We've got a couple of recipes. Beef potato surprise? Franks and beans? Potato pancakes? Pretty cool. We're going to have to make... We've got some vintage recipes. Grilled sandwiches, French toast sandwiches, tempting fish dishes, fruit and vegetable treats. This is history. It's almost sad that I opened it. Oh yeah. All right. See if I can take the. Uh... There you go. Okay. Oh wow. Wow, a new one. A new perfect heat control. Oh, it's pretty. Oh, wow. I've polished them up, but I've never held a new one in my hand. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> Give me a second. Here we go. Oh, there's a, there's a card. All right. Don't bend it. Don't do anything. Bad. The old ones had smooth bottoms. Oh, it feels smooth. No, that's the tray. <laughs> that's the tray. The old ones had smooth aluminum bottoms. As years went on, they took on a texture. I think it's so they didn't have to polish them. And the one I bought on eBay had a smooth bottom. Oh, this looks like the one I own. If it is, I'll be really, it'll be really cool because the later ones just... Oh, it needs to be, needs to be cleaned. It feels gritty. Oh. That's freaking awesome. That is freaking awesome. Mine, on mine, the white letterings are, are tan from age. The newer ones had kind of a pebble surface. These are, look, look at all these lines. It's beautiful. I find it beautiful. 
Oh. Oh. I mean, it's got character, you know? You've got lines going this way, lines going this way, lines going that way. That's just freaking beautiful. Oh. Is she smooth? Oh. oh, yeah. Oh, this is like the one I own. Mine looks smoother, though. I did use Mother's Mag on mine. This has a little bit more character. But it, that is a smooth... That is a smooth bottom. <laughs> smooth bottom. Another thing to look for are the pegs. Later models had flat, round pegs and they're chrome plated, I believe. These look like brass to me. I want to make a Korean style street food hamburger on this. Let's see what this looks Look at this. So your registration card. Guarantee registration card. Should we send it in? <laughs> I wish. Let's eat out of doors! <laughs> the griddle makes eating out of doors on the patio, porch, or terrace so easy it's fun for the whole family or gang. You can cook a breakfast, brunch, or supper on the griddle with no waiting. There's room enough to cook six to twelve servings at one time. I think we have it to be continued here. We'll make a South Korean street food fried egg hamburger sandwich that stand about ten feet tall. Thanks for joining me this Friday. To be continued. Thanks for watching.